I'm, I couldn't be happier for the women uh, because, um, you know, they, they really, after the NCAA indoor championship, I think, uh, where we didn't have a good meet, uh, they knew they were a lot better than what they performed at that meet, and we knew it too. But when we got back and then over the next six to seven to eight weeks, uh, they took charge of uh, their own destiny themselves. There was some great leadership. There was uh, uh, a lot of discussion, uh, a lot of, um, of, of, you might say, goals set for one another as to what they were going to try to do. And I'll just be honest, the team became the most important thing to them at that point. And when you get a group that believes that way, then everybody elevates their training, everybody elevates their expe expectations of one another. And then when you get in the championship meet, everybody has a lot of confidence in one another that they're going to, you know, fulfill their role. And, and that's exactly what happened uh, through the seven days. You know, this is not just a four-day meet. It started way back two weeks ago. And, and to end here in Des Moines and be able to, to have this kind of a, what I consider to be dominating kind of performance by our women because they really stepped it up uh, and and uh, weren't going to be denied. And, and, and I commend Oregon because they battled, battled, battled. And it wasn't until today that you really knew how this was going to play out.